I'm Cheryl Miller, and my husband David and I are the co-chairs of A Times Renewal 2020 Capital Campaign. We've both been involved at A Times for many years. David on the board and as fundraising VP, and I volunteered in the preschool, the religious school, and have been president of both Sisterhood and the congregation. But this is a unique opportunity for both of us to work together, and we are very excited about this opportunity to give back to our shul. Follow me for a quick peek at some of the wonderful renovations and additions that we've done both inside and on the grounds of our synagogue. Here we are in our Sisterhood Outdoor Sanctuary. What a wonderful space for us to come together. Right next door is our daffodil garden planted by our teenagers. And around the corner, we have our figure family outdoor classroom that the preschool enjoys. And here we are in our stunning new Levine Family Chapel with a soothing atmosphere to pray every day. And here we are in our new multifaceted Phillips Library. And here we are in our warm and inviting the larger lobby. All of these spaces are just an outward reflection of the warmth and beauty that is the heart and soul of our congregation, our congregants. And now it's time to finish the other spaces in our building to reflect the same beauty and warmth. Our original mailing went out in November, but the highlights, giving levels, and updates will continue to be posted on our website. We are replacing outdated systems with newer and more efficient technology, things like LED lighting and heating and air. For the first time, we will actually have heating and air in our kitchens. We're also adding a hearing loop and making our lower BEMA fully accessible. And then matching the beautiful aesthetic finishes that we currently have in our lobby and chapel. We like to call it purposeful and pretty. And yes, that does bring us to our fundraising piece. We are halfway there, but we still need your support. What we'd like to do is set up face-to-face -face meetings with your friendship circles, and we'll also be holding open house presentations. All of this information is in the e-blast and will also be in the February Voice of Chaim. And here we are at our last stop in our Eight Chaim Social Hall. Wouldn't it be fabulous if our, your mitzvah, you could come and do the hora, be lifted in a chair, and actually not hit your head on the ceiling? And with your support, we can make that happen. So please join us and literally help us raise the roof. We look forward to speaking with you and sharing our plans and our passion for Renewal 2020.